Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Hasban Allahu Ani Mawakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yet, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cap runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. It's Wednesday, the 22nd day of March 2023 in the year of our Lord. Johnny's Bite. Tell somebody we are back. Tell somebody that intimidation will not win. Tell somebody that they should share the link and like it and propagate the word that Johnny's Bite is here. Johnny's Joy Bite. should be near. This morning, I've come to talk to you about... And, and yesterday, I saw something. Good morning to the teachers and all the supervisors at the Okaikwe Sub-Metro Education Office. Good morning to you. Yesterday, I saw a small boy who is a student, a pupil of the Kaneshi Bishop School. He was walking barefooted with his classmates. I asked him why. He said a certain teacher with the name beginning R had seized the, his shoes because they were unprescribed. And the child was walking barefooted from the school all the way home. If it is my son or Brimpong, this morning there will be fire in the school. But it is not my son. But that boy could actually be my son. And I am not happy about it. So I'm just serving notice. Tomorrow I will show the picture. But that's not why I came to talk about. I've been on the National Commission for Civic Education. I've had calls. People say, oh, uh, this individual is my friend. Let me call. I said, no, 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 no. When the press puts out something and the chief of staff said, within 24 hours, you must respond to what has been put out there. You must respond. Let's go back to the earlier letter. Not this one. The earlier letter where the NCC had written to say that payments of the funds will start at tier three. I don't want to go back into it again. And while we're looking for the letter, I need to announce to you that I've also been following keenly what's been happening at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. I know that the mayor appeared before the committee. I know that the head of finance appeared before the committee. I know that other officers of the assembly appeared before the committee. And I know that they are putting together their report for the assembly. I know I'm following keenly. Where 800,000 is supposed to have been bought for used for uh, buying uh, rice and oil, uh, unnecessary travels, all the allegations. I know that a right uh, of hearing has been granted. So I'm waiting keenly for the report. This is a data dated the 9th of uh, March 2023. Redemption of Provident Fund. Push it up, push it up, push it up. Now it says um, a reference is made. Push the letter up. Let's see. The, let's see the, set the letter. Reference is made uh, to the divisional un, uh, unions letter dated 25th February 2023 to management raising objections to the proposals. Management it says that, well, as a result, service providers are to begin paying requesting full. By 15 March 2023, since management has agreed with them to ensure that they raise money to pay at rates of the applicants. This is signed by Dora Hammond, Director of Administration for Chairman. It's copied to the NCC Chairman, Divisional Union, uh, uh, PSW of TUC, Deputy Chairman of Operations, NCC, Old Mutual, Chapel Hill, Fidelity Bank. This was the letter I read to you. Now, bring up the new letter. The new letter signed by the Commissioner. Right? of the National Commission for Civil Education on the 21st of March. This is a fresh letter. Secular to all staff. Re-redemption of Provident Fund. Further to management secular dated 9th March 2023. The letter which I just read to you on the above subject. We wish to inform you that payment started on the 15th of March 2023 as indicated. Management with the guidance of service providers is working out schedule of payment based on availability, available liquidity. That's where I have the problem. The people gave you their monies. You deducted their monies. The monies were supposed to have been kept in trust. The monies were supposed to have been kept there for them for when it will mature. The monies were supposed to have been invested. Now you are telling them that you will pay based on available liquidity to be determined by maturity payments on our assets. This will be shared with staff in due course. And yeah, yeah. They say no. And this letter is signed by Kathleen Adi. Miss, she's chairperson of the NCC. Management wants to assure staff that we take the current state of affairs with regards to staff provident fund very seriously. We are doing all 
uh, all we can to ensure satisfactory outcome for all. For uh, exercise patients, please exercise patients as we work to resolve uh, all outstanding issues. This is what they have written. Signed to uh, a divisional staff union, deputy chair of British, deputy chairman FNA, finance and administration, that is. But they say they will pay based on the availability of liquidity. So where is the money? Because the monies were deducted, and I have it on good authority that even the month of March, eh, the validators, some of the validators have told me that even the month of March, the deductions with the workers once stopped have already been deducted. If they lie, I lied. So that's a question I'm asking. The money is supposed to be kept there. They have kept their monies with you for 10 years. 8% or so of their monies for 10 years you have deducted. The NCC has not responded to the fact that the workers come to do cleaner jobs. The NCC has not responded to the fact that they have been deducting some five CDs for them to buy land. The NCC has not uh, denied the fact uh, or answered the question that the, the people have been weeding and all of that. The NCC has not denied all of that. So I'm asking the question. Nasikanu Wahi. And while we talk about Sika, take me to the, the, the doorsteps of the Electoral Commission. Three new members have been added onto the Electoral Commission. This was done in consultation with the Council of State, as is in the Constitution. This Constitution. The President will appoint members of the Electoral Commission and Electoral Commissioner in accordance with this Constitution. In accordance with Article 70, which says that the President will consult the Council of State who get paid allowances month on month. Well, the advice of the Council of State could be taken by the president if he so desires. But there shall be an electoral commission. It is also here. Article 66 of 65. It shall be here. There shall be an electoral commission of Ghana. And part of their job is that they have to be neutral. The president gave us three new commissioners, including my own priest. Three. Now, three members of the commission, one of them is a party person through and through. We have not finished talking about Dr. Bosman Asari. Who on the university campus, everybody knew. People have said that over and over again. It's not me saying. People have said it over and over again, some to his face. That he's an MPP apologist. Show up the thing. This picture is a very interesting picture. Bono Regional Minister, who is the next Bono Regional Minister? This was at the inception of the, and thanks to Space FM, 87.7 FM. The first gentleman, Mr. Kofi of Osubuati, I knew him. He contested with Bombasin. Eh? Nukes Conference, Nukes Congress, Nyakpala, I was there. Uh, in fact, I supported him in that election. He contested Bombasin. This one contested Bombasin. Anyangpala UDS. He was a student, I think, of IPS or so. Now, I remember vividly. Well, he spoke very impeccable English. Next to him is the man we are talking about, Dr. Peter Apia Hini. He's a lecturer at the UNER and also a patron of Tescon. We all know what Tescon is. We're looking for electoral commissioners ahead of the 2024 elections, 21 months to the election. President Akufado gave us a party person. Now, you think that this will not further entrench whatever frosty relationship the NDC has with the electoral commission? You think that they will not entrench it? So who advised the president on this particular matter? Show me the photo of him with party colors behind him, please. This is him. A gentleman in question, a good doctor, very great lecturer, I'm told. But everybody knew him on the campus of KNUST as an MPP apologist. So the question I ask is, we have the men, we have the men, we have the men. Are these the men, only party people? We're building a country. Play the video of the gentleman for me. Maybe somebody will think, I'm manufacturing this. We are Photoshop. Play the video for me. Chinese fight. Before free SHS, before 2017, now I started to cry. Yeah, my mom started to call me more than. I said, man, I didn't want to say anything. I said, Madam, please, I said, 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 I said
Now you think that on December 7, 2024, after trying to recover from what the Electoral Commission did to us in 2020 uh, elections, where the press were subjected to, oh, I've announced this result this minute. The next minute has been changed. We changed about six times or so. We are yet to recover from that too. As soon as we finished, the PRO of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Electoral Commission was given an ambassadorial role. The day we finished announcing it, the next day, pa ambassadorial role. Now we have this on our hands. Show the picture. Don't show my me. I'm not the commissioner. I'm not a member of the commission. Show the man's face. This is the man in whom President Akufado is very well pleased. And you know what he told them? He told them not to be intimidated. He told them not to be intimidated. This is a party person who is going to finish counting the votes. So even before the election starts, this is what the spirit are saying. That you have actually packed the place with party people. Now, if two people are going to a contest, or three people, or five people are going to a contest, and one individual or one with some persuasion is already packing the place with individuals that favor him or apologists of that individual or that political persuasion, what do you think will happen? I've showed you photos of the individual at a party meeting. I've showed you photos of the individual who was, who was a desirable candidate for Bono Regional Minister, which is a political appointment. I've showed you a video of the individual sitting in a local radio station and speaking the gospel of the NPP government, installing free SHS, which is a good initiative by our standards. But he was telling us, he was doing a party job. He is supposed to be a member of the Electoral Commission. And I'm asking, did the Council of State sanction this? Did the chief of staff hear this? Did the presidential advisor tell the president that this mm, boss who had the NAE? Or have we actually mortgaged the country to the point where we are on a slippery slope at a top speed and we don't care where the country lands? You can't do this, Mr. President. Come back and come and tell us we need peace. Peace over what? There cannot be peace without justice. You cannot do this. You can't continue like this. This is a clear party person. And I'm asking, within this country and in this country, we have too many people who are not wearing party colors who can do the work of the Electoral Commission. So why would we reduce it to partisanship? And you tell us to rise about partisanship. Learn, look at what you have done. You tell us to rise about partisanship. And you are neck deep inside partisanship. Stop this agenda one, agenda two. Stop this Motro Mojo. Stop this Ajana Wajana too. Don't set the country on a wrong footing. The country was running before you became president. After you become president, you will leave and go. Ghana belongs to all of us, not to a certain group of people, not to Yaji Yamai people. Good morning. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand.